Hello there everybody, I'm Mixer and I realize I'm supposed to be starting my uh, Mock City uh, sort of updates and I've been promising that, although my deadline was uh, February, so I technically have till the end of this month to do videos on anything else, so I wanted to get another Lego discussion going. Yeah, I just have a lot on my mind lately. Stickers, this is the topic today. Um, a recent set that I reviewed, the Hogwarts Express from the Lego Harry Potter line, go check that out, had a couple of stickers, not too many. But uh, we take a set like Quickie Mart or Ninjago City. <laughs> Quickie Mart had around 60 stickers. I'd say Ninjago City had around 70. And they are all a pain to put on. So when does Lego use prints? So bringing in the Hogwarts Express. Well, in uh, recent days, Lego just uses uh, stickers for just smooth surfaces. This is a sticker, a sticker, a sticker. The Hogwarts Express does use a print right here and it's a curved structure. This is rounded and it is also a print. So, and like in Ant-Man uh, from the, in Giant-Man from the Civil War uh, airport battle set, which I still have to review once I get it, um, it does use a print on his sort of face. So. The kind of trend going on, if you don't already know, is Lego realizes how annoying stickers are to put on. And when they do realize that, they try to, they kind of try to do prints on curved surfaces that are hard, but on flat surfaces, they try to do stickers. In this recent Ant-Man and the Wasp set, which I have reviewed, go check that out, um, it's a print on the sides smooth surfaces are stickers again so you know just little stuff like that sort of give you hints um as to what they do but here's my problem with stickers they just they make the set look bad and i'm ocd so it really gets on my nerves so let's go ahead and disconnect something right there so you see that sticker you put on side and it's not on a smooth surfaces those are hard to put on, in my opinion, for me. I'm not that good at them. And then this one, I had angled off, so I had to re peel it, and do you see that right there? That's bad, yeah, when you put it back on again. And I especially hate when, like in the whole uh, Black Panther uh, while Wakanda set from Avengers Infinity War, go check that review out, when they make you put stickers on a clear surface, or in the airport battle, the Quinjet has a sticker on the canopy, and just, little stuff like that really is annoying because it just makes the whole thing look a lot worse like uh, like you know and a lot of the stickers that you do put over kind of transparent see-through um sort of uh, uh pieces they get air bubbles trapped underneath very easily and you can see that here's the wall of wakanda it uses the uh, stickers on clear pieces and first off i angled that wrong and then when I put it back, you see that right there. And um, I'm gonna show you guys another set just because I can't um, bring it there, but you know how much Lego I have. So I've been applying a lot of stickers and my stickers still look bad. And right here on the uh, UCS X-Wing, which I reviewed, air bubbles are all over this thing, you know? because it's not a sticker. Here they did right, they did a print. So yeah, just a lot of stuff like that. And don't tell me that they didn't do um, um, a print because it's an old set. Lego has been doing um, prints when that was originally kind of uh, released. But why does Lego even do stickers? The easy answer, it's cheaper. But yeah, you know, I definitely think that Lego does have the money to spare where they could easily uh, do prints but leave your thoughts in the comments below on that and um, I'll talk to you again soon bye